Are you ready to start building your very own aquaponics system today? In this video, we're going to show you the complete process that we went through in building this beautiful system. Stay tuned. Hello, I'm Sean Paul with Morningstar Aquaponics. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. But before we get started, I just want to share with you, you can download three ebooks on our website today. Step-by-step -step aquaponics, the basics of aquaponics, and understanding aquaponic plant nutrients. I believe if you get these three ebooks, it will help you superstart your system and help you maintain your system in the future. One more thing before we get to the video, I just want to share a thank you so much for everyone that's been a part of Morningstar Aquaponics for the last six years. Believe it or not, our materials in over 75 countries around the world, we have helped thousands of people to help build their aquaponic system. It's been a great pleasure in working with you. Are you ready to watch the video? Let's go! Building the metal frames was the first step in this aquaponic build. As you can see, we were taking much care and professionalism in building these. One thing that I wanted to note, you do not have to build your foundational rack system out of metal. You can build this out of wood and then all the dimensions for this are in the actual ebook that we have online that you can download. The aquaponic system is extremely heavy and it's very important that you build a very strong foundation. Now we are laying out the system. This is not the area where we put the final aquaponic system, but we are laying it out. It's very important that you methodically think about this uh, and to consider everything involved in the aquaponic system because you do not want any regret in building your aquaponic system. Now it's time to prepare the IBC tote tanks. They must be thoroughly washed and clean. Also, make sure you know exactly what was stored inside these tanks previously if you purchased used ones. First, we take all the tanks out of the cages. Then we lay out all the areas to be cut on the tanks according to the measurements in the ebook. Then we take the racks and we cut those according to the measurements as well. To cut the racks, we either use sawzaws or bolt cutters. Then the actual tanks themselves, we will use a sawzaw or skill saw. Now, we are preparing the outside surfaces to be painted by sanding them down with a heavy grit sandpaper. We need to prepare the surfaces to be painted. And many people ask me, why do you paint the exterior of your aquaponic system? This is to protect the plastic from UV rays and also block the sunlight out so you do not grow algae in the system. Algae is like a death wish in your system. As you can see, we are putting the system in place. Obviously, if your structure is made of wood, you would want to use a different method. We are marking out the area where the legs are going to go. Then we start digging. Making sure your system is level is extremely critical. Before setting the system in place, we put gravel in the bottom of each hole. This will help ensure that it's level and also it gives it a firm foundation. Then we also concrete them in. Some people say that I do an overkill, but you just don't want to have any issues in the future. As you can see, we're digging the hole for the sump pit. The extra dirt, we're using that to level out the aquaponic area. Because the ground was so out of level, we are actually using large rocks as well. We are now placing all the grow beds and tanks in place. You will want to make sure that the tops of the IBC totes are on one side and the bottoms are on the other side. Squaring up the system is very important and it will help make plumbing a lot easier. We are preparing the two end walls of the loop greenhouse. You will want to concrete them in as well. One end will be a solid wall and the other will have a door on it. Here is the gravel for the grow beds and to further level out the aquaponic floor. We are using concrete blocks to provide a strong level surface for the sump pit tank to sit on. Making sure that it is level is very important. Using corrugated sheet metal to reinforce the sides of the sump pit. You don't want rain and eventually to cave in the actual soil around the tank because it will damage it. To finalize the sump pit, you will want to put gravel around the sides of the corrugated metal. I am laying out the plumbing for the drain system. This is a constant flood system. And 
the aquaponic ebook, I will show you how to build bell siphons if you want a flood and drain system. We use hole saws and sawzaws to cut the holes. Right tools make the job easier and the investment is well worth it. We use bulkhead connectors along with a bead of 100% silicone to ensure a tight seal. We are plumbing the drain underneath the system now. Make sure that you have a slight slope to your drain. I am finalizing the drain system into the sump pit. As I am plumbing, my helper is making four inch PVC pipe shields that go around the drain outlet to keep debris from going into the drain. The drain plumbing is done and it's time to put rock in the grow beds. You can use many different types of media. Rock is what's available to us in Honduras. I cover all areas of types of media in the ebook. Make sure that you fill up the rock above the tops of the drain. You don't want any water exposed to the sun. I am now plumbing the water to the grow beds from the biofilter. I am laying the water line along the tops of the grow beds. I put valves on every grow bed. This will help you control the water flow better and shut off the grow bed to service it. To finalize the plumbing, I am finishing the backside of the system. I am running the water supply line up to the fish tank. On the spray bar, I drill several holes. This will help the water break the surface of the fish tank water efficiently. I am tying the fish tanks into the swirl filter that connects into the biofilter. We are now putting the loop greenhouse together. Many hands will make it much easier. We use a lot of zip ties to securely keep it together. Since both the front wall and back wall are concreted in, it makes a nice place for the PVC pipe to be tied to. We are putting the shade cloth on. We also use zip ties to secure it. Screwing strips of PVC pipe over the shade cloth helps further secure it. I also use silicone around the edges to further lock the shade cloth together. Well, now we're done, and now I'm gonna walk you through the system. We just got doing our brand new system here for the orphanage. They have 61 kids on this campus. It's an amazing ministry, and it's a pleasure that we could do something for them as far as this aquaponic system build. We've got uh, a greenhouse here, so we put a greenhouse up over the system to prevent bugs from uh, coming into the system and minimizing the amount of insects in the system. So here we go. As you can see, we got a beautiful greenhouse. We built this all up with rock. We had to level it out. And then we put the whole entire system in rock and concrete. It is not gonna settle at all. It is stable right now. So let's go ahead and go on inside. I wanna show you what we have here. As you can see, all the grow beds are flowing properly. We've got eight grow beds in this system. And uh, this is a constant flood system. It does not have bell siphons. Constant flood is less maintenance. You don't have to be concerned about if your siphons are going or not. Some people will argue and say, well, bell siphons are better, but as long as with the constant flood system, you have a biofilter, you are gonna be fine as far as in, uh, in constant flood. Now, this is grow media right here. This is, uh, this is the only grow media that's available to us, River Rock. So that's all that we could put in here. So we put this up. It's a two inch layer above the stand pipes as far as in this system. So as you can see, all the water's flowing properly in the grow beds. You wanna make sure that you get fresh water in this system every 45 minutes. So this is enough flow to ensure that there's a changeover of water every 45 minutes. Also here, you have your stand pipe. This stand pipe is what determines the height of the water in the system. And then also we put it diagonal. It's very, very important to ensure that you put it diagonally with the inlet of water. And then all the draining system is underneath the grow beds so you can actually see the drainage system there as well. Now I explain all this in my ebook. You can get my ebook, you can download it today. I wrote an ebook, Step-by-Step -step Aquaponics, simplifying the building process for you. You can go to our website, MorningstarAquaponics.com, and you can download that ebook today and it will show you exactly how to build this system right here. Now I wanna take you in the back. Now we made this greenhouse a little tight because of the way the materials were. Uh, so it's a little tight, but it is functional and the gentleman that uh, we built this for can easily get around in this system. As you can see, we have two fish tanks. Each fish tank is around 250 gallons and we can put in there roughly around 60 fish each in each tank. You can push it a little bit more so in the future once this system matures with the bacteria growth, 
but right now you cannot put that many fish in there uh, and we have not put fish in the system uh, we are going to go fishless in this system and it's a basically a bacteria kit that you can put into the water and then basically it'll start the bacteria it'll start the ammonia process and so forth and then help energize and boost uh, the the uh, the the process the nitrification process that this system must go through so as you can see we got two fish tanks and then we have a bio filter there and on the back side is a swirl filter some people call it capture filter that's it captures all the fish poop uh, and fish waste you do not want that going in your system at all some people think it's okay but trust me when you get fish poop impacted inside the grow media like this rock it's not fun a couple years from now so you want to make sure you have a way to drain off that fish poop on a constant basis and then as you can see here this is the valve to drain off the fish poop you could just put a bucket underneath it open it up briefly and then drain off the fish poop that's in the bottom of the capture filter now here's the sump pit that we dug and put inside and uh, we put reinforcement on the outside of it so the earth can't cave in uh, you have a pump on that side, and this is where the water dispenses into the sump pit. And then on the back side, like I said, here's our capture filter. So this right here, uh, all the fish tank water goes into the capture filter. It goes into the bio filter. From the bio filter, it goes out into the grow beds. And then uh, here, this is the, the water inlet being pumped up. And as you can see up here, we have a spray bar that we developed and then as far as uh, the spray bar it's breaking water it's good for oxidization and then once he gets his fish in the system and starts the nitrification process as far as I mean before he gets the fish in the system and he starts the nitrification process with that kit with the bacteria uh, he will put an aerator inside the biofilter uh, so that you are providing oxygen to the bacteria and then once we get fish, we're gonna put aerators in the tanks as well. You can never go wrong in having too much oxygen. So, uh, there you have it. This is the system. Uh, and then normally you should uh, keep your fish tanks covered and you should keep your uh, swirl filter and bio filter covered to prevent any algae growth on the inside. So he will be covering that. We'll be covering the sump pit as well. Uh, and just to prevent algae growth as much as possible. But this is the system, everything in a nutshell. And then, like I said, you can go to my website at morningstaraquaponics.com. You can download my ebook that will teach you how to build this system right here. And then I have another system. It's a 14 uh, bed grow bed system. It's a half barrel system. And that, it teaches you how to build that and plus a greenhouse around that. Thank you very much. And I appreciate you watching our videos. We have many other uh, videos as well uh, on our channel. So I have several aquaponic build videos. So please make sure you check out our channel. Thanks a lot. You have an amazing day.